Hello, thank you very much for watching. My name is Sean. Please subscribe if you would like to see more. I am going to tell you the latest in my series of what I wish I'd known, and that is what I wish I'd known about running a B&B. &B. Most of you know, pretty sure, that I run a B&B &B in the Yorkshire Dales. I'm currently sitting looking at the most spectacular view possibly in the world, and I love it. I absolutely love living here. We don't own this house, we get to live here and we run the business. It's a house that needs to earn a living, um, so we do that. So these are what I wish I'd known about running a B&B. &B. Firstly, and probably the most important thing, I learned that you can't please everyone. This was a really hard lesson for me to learn and a really important lesson for me to learn. It came after a particularly difficult guest who I'd bent over backwards for all weekend. I'd brought her things, I'd paid extra attention to her, just spent all my night kind of running around after her and she gave us this awful review. And I realised that nothing was going to be good enough for her but it did take me quite a long time to realise that that was the case, that she was just somebody who was never going to be pleased here. Another thing I wish I'd known was to expect the unexpected. You never know what you're going to find when you go into a guest room the next morning, be it stuff all over sheets or stuff all over towels, makeup everywhere, or even somebody pooing the bed. Yes, that's happened. Yes, it was disgusting. I've also once discovered the guests had used like a, a stool which had a lid as a sanitary bin. That was proper, proper disgusting. Ugh, some people. <laughs> Another thing I wish I'd known was that I enjoy meeting people. I really enjoy meeting new people. I enjoy chatting to new people. I just find that social aspect really, really nice. And I love when people feel really comfortable in this house and they just sit downstairs in their pyjamas drinking wine. That pleases me no end because it means I've done my job properly and they feel at home. I also wish I'd known that it would be really, really hard work, especially with children, especially when it's the holiday time at school and I'm balancing children, B&B &B, and my blogging and vlogging, all of that stuff just at some points in the year it becomes like there's too many balls in the air thankfully i've always caught them thus far touch wood but i didn't realize that that would be quite so difficult and also just being here all the time so being on call and being the people who have to be here and it's quite tying so we have to be here to greet the guests from three o'clock in the afternoon and sometimes they don't arrive till half 11 12 at night so we're kind of always on call and that has been difficult to learn. I enjoy a lot of it and there are, whilst there are bits that I really don't like, cleaning the toilets, um, I obviously do them. I enjoy the technical side, I enjoy the website side, I enjoy all of that. I enjoy the social media side and I love meeting people and for that reason it's been a fantastic job for me for now. It's perfect for this point in my life whilst the kids are small, I can go and see their plays, I can be there to pick them up from school and that's so important to me that I was able to do that. That's my children fighting so I think I'd better go now. If you've liked this video give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to please subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye!